Hey everyone, it's TV Shores. It's July 6, 2020. It's 10.02 a.m. I wanted to try to get a video done this morning. Um, okay, I hope everybody is following what the Lord has been having me point out about the Omer count and how um, having the overlap, the six-day overlap, uh, points us to understanding a double portion. And this is all about, see, the Omer count, remember, it's all about spiritual growth. It's about where the Lord is taking us spiritually, okay? Um, about the spiritual growth that we need to be gaining to get to where we need to be for what He is about to do in us and through us, okay? So when we understand the Lord is pointing us to this double portion, of course. It took us to understanding that is about Elijah, because the double portion of his spirit fell to Elisha. And we also know that according to Scripture, that John the Baptist uh, walked out in the spirit of, of Elijah as well. So we're going to get back in the scripture right now and uh, I hope to point out a few things. We're looking at how John the Baptist in the spirit of Elijah will make the way once again for the Lord. This time will be a it will be as bringing the kingdom Rather than announcing the kingdom is at hand, this time it will be about bringing the kingdom um, in, let me see if I can find it right quick, right here. Uh, in Matthew 3, we see, it says, in those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness and saying, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Um, the kingdom did not come at that time. This is about the kingdom actually coming. And John will walk out making the way again in the spirit of Elijah. It's about that birthing again, okay? Making the way. Do you understand? Making the way for the birthing of the kingdom. And that takes us back to this scripture here that we see in Malachi chapter 4 and verse 5 uh, where it says behold I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord so scripture tells us that Elijah must come before okay and before the great and dreadful day of the Lord it's important we understand this before because it's going to help us understand some things that I'm going to talk about a little later. All right, then when we pop back to Malachi 3, it says, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. So it's all about understanding what has to be before, okay? This verse is saying that the messenger will come and prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple. That's what comes after, okay? The Lord suddenly coming to his temple. That's about um, the transformation when the Lord completely indwells us, okay? This coming as the messenger is a bestowing upon us. Um, the spirit that is needed to walk out um, as the messenger, as John did. Um, I hope to clarify that a little bit more later, but I hope you can understand what I'm saying. This messenger has to come before, and then the Lord will suddenly come to his temple, completely indwell us and transform us, okay? Um, let's see, as we move on, 
me look at my notes here. Um, okay, understanding this is where we are now. It is about the kingdom coming. It is about the travail that that thing that the world is in right now, that God's creation is in. And this travail will bring about the birthing of the kingdom. Um, I'm trying to think. It seemed like there was something there that I needed to. This travail. Yes, and the way has to be made for that birthing. That's why that messenger must come that makes the way in the spirit of Elijah, just as John the Baptist did. Now, if we look at, let me see my notes again. Um, okay, if we look at Matthew 17, that's where we are right here. And it says, and his disciples asked him, okay, the disciples were asking Jesus, saying, why then, say the scribes, that Elias, which is Elijah, must first come? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Elias, Elijah, truly shall come first and restore all things. It's about restoring the kingdom. Remember how we talked about how the kingdom was set forth in the beginning in the beginning and the Lord God gave Adam dominion over all creation it's taking us back to that kingdom okay um, let's see where was I and restore all things so that's what that's speaking about and then we, it goes on to say, Matthew 17, 12, But I say unto you that Elias, Elijah, is come already, and they knew him not, but have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer them. So, you know, they did not recognize Elijah as it was prophesied. And, of course, we know... It, it went on to be that John the Baptist was beheaded. Um, we see that they did not accept Jesus, the Christ, and of course, um, he was crucified. But because of his death, burial, and resurrection, we have life. Um, but it was all part of God's plan in restoring things okay now this is where Jesus is speaking and he's speaking about Elijah and, and then in verse 13 it says then the disciples understood that he spake unto them about John the Baptist so clearly here we can see that Jesus is establishing to his disciples that John the Baptist came in the spirit of Elijah. So once again, I want to say that what has been will be again. The book of Ecclesiastes tells us this. And also what the Lord has given us in his word um, to understand. He is he is the same always and we can learn by what has been as to what is coming and that's why he give us his word so that we could learn and we could understand and we could prepare um it's about giving us a way to seek him and to understand the things of him but you've got to you've got to realize that you can't understand these deeper things if you're stuck in the milk of the word because there is scripture and I, and I don't have it pulled up but it, it talks about um, believers not being able to take the meat because they are still in the milk and there's scripture that says 
that God will not give the meat to those who are not weaned off the breast, weaned off the milk. So we got to understand if if we are going to understand this, we have to be seeking the deeper things of God. We're not going to get these things from the surface understanding of the scriptures. These are deeper understandings within the word that the Lord is um, sharing. And for those of us who are seeking, who have eyes to see and ears to hear, yes, we get this. But you have to understand there are many who don't. Um, it's because they only want the surface. They're comfortable with sticking with the surface understanding. And they're not seeking the deeper things. So there's no point in arguing with people who do not see these things. Because they're only going to see it when it's their time to see it. And they're not going to hear what you're trying to tell them about these deeper things. Um, unless they have reach the point in their faith to, to understand that there's more than the surface understanding of the scriptures to be to be known of the scriptures to be known many are just too comfortable in the surface understanding of things but as we look at this and we see that Jesus was making it known that John the Baptist had come in the spirit of Elijah we can uh, understand why the Lord has shown us this connection with the double portion and how it points us to Elijah, how that connects us to understanding about John the Baptist and the messenger that he was and how he made the way and the way must be made again because just as the way was made for Jesus the first time he came, the way will be made again. And, and this way is the birthing of the kingdom. Because the kingdom is going to be set up on earth. And that's where Jesus will rule and reign from. Um, let me see if there's anything else I need to get in on this video. Because I'm trying to keep things to specific trains of thought and understanding with each video. So it doesn't get so... Um, so it'll be, hopefully, be more clear. Okay. I'm hoping that you're following me and understanding the connection the Lord has given us here um, with how we are to walk out as the messenger, um, as John the Baptist, in the spirit of Elijah, because the way has to be made. Now, this is done by the first fruits. And we'll get into that in the next video. Uh, I hope to explain in more detail some things concerning that. So those of you that may not be understanding it can uh, follow what the Lord is having laid out here. So I'm going to cut this off and I'll pick back up on this as soon as I can. I love y'all. Bye-bye.